The Players' Championship Finals, the Elite Eight. Could the bullet take dead aim at the semis or would not be rise to the occasion? Johnny be good or would it be tantalizing tungsten from the tartan? And could the birthday boy Steve Lennon give himself a party for the ages or would the world's best leave him bewildered? Boom goes the dynamite today on High Roller Radio. Yes, quarterfinals day. The Players' Championship Finals winding down. It's heating up. The nitty-gritty should be a great day at Butlins. Michael Van Gerwen is gunning for his 51st. You heard that correctly. 51st career major TV semifinal. That's what we call a litany. Pleased with how it's going here, he tweeted after beating Stephen Burton yesterday. Looking forward to tomorrow. MVG then suggesting his full focus is on keeping the trophy. He is the defending champ. John is waiting for you, replied Jerry Kennedy, his opponent's manager. Kennedy attached this photo. The two Lennons, John and Steve, absolutely brilliant. Love that. Happy birthday, Steve Lennon, a former guest of ours. He is 25 today. Quick channel note and a milestone. 700K plus in total views, and we just hit 1,300 subscribers. Thank you, Darts fans. It means a lot. We're getting there. All of this, by the way, simply for love of the game. The draw has been released, announced at Ben on Sport. He's keeping close tabs on today's Ladies World Championship qualifier at Milton Keynes. Who will join at Anastasia Darts at the Alley Pally? Well, whoever it is, here's hoping they do some damage this year. Commentator Chris Mason knows exactly how big that opportunity is. Good luck to all the ladies, he tweeted. The winner today will no doubt garner a lot of international attention, not to mention a chance at all that prize money up for grabs. Will it be M? We say good luck to her. Great post here. Off to Milton Keynes for the women's qualifier, she said. Aim of the day is to enjoy myself and gain some new experiences. Today is not about winning for me. Great spirit there. Good luck to at Lush Lila. Knock them dead. How about this? Nevada Sports reporting, Rob Bob Cross will soon be world number two, just the eighth player in PDC history to reach that status. And we got to show you this for Matt Gezzi Price. Can't beat a Sunday PJ day on the sofa, he tweeted. Fire blaring, chicken dinner on the go, hashtag the best life. Can that really be Dart's new bad boy? PJ's fire and family dinner. The Iceman did not fare well this weekend. KO'd in the first round by Christoph Rutaisky. How would these guys fare today? There is your quarterfinal lineup, and we are set to go. Is this the stairway to heaven for Super Chin? These fans on their feet for Daryl Gurney's walk-on. They're ready, dancing along to Sweet Caroline. And, of course, Gurney conducting the orchestra. His opponent this afternoon, Chris Doby, came out first. A nice 14 darter in the opening leg. Super chin to star in Hollywood. The sign on the left says, well, this double eight played a starring role as he responded with a 10 darter of his own. Then he fired in a 12 dart break of throw. Not to be outdone, Hollywood countered with another 14 darter to break right back. A cracking start to this contest. Fifth leg though, Doby dodgy on the doubles. Five misses, and the Northern Irishman took full advantage, taking out 60 for a 3-2 lead at the commercials. Time for these two to top up those cups. Gurney would hold to start the second session and then land this. Wow, a brilliant 146 checkout. Doby sitting on 32, a backbreaker. Super chin with the stern look as if to say, I'm on my A game today. Doby left back of stage absolutely shell-shocked. Very next leg. After Doby missed three more at the outer ring, Gurney pounced. Double four for four on the spin, and you can make that five in a row. He held on double seven, staying refreshed and focused. Eight to the Irish at the interval. 
Gurney on fire. You don't think he's in the zone? Check this out. The big fish, a 170 checkout, picture perfect. And all Doby could do was smile and nod. He appreciated that one. Nothing he could do. 10 to your final. Gurney, superb, really was. And he knew it too. A fist pump for the faithful. He is semi-final bound. What a steamroll. Emphatic. I'm glad to get the result, he said. Whoever I get next. Hopefully I can play like that again as we check out the stats. 104 average, two 180s, 63% on his doubles. Bird is the word next as Stephen Bunting made his grand entrance, got everyone going too, asking them to sing along. He was up against this guy, the 27-year-old Danny Knoppert. You see his list of casualties there. Rodriguez, King, and Ratajski. Second leg, so close on the 167. Knoppert would win the leg to level things at one. Listen to this. In the first three legs, the Dutchman had darts at double on a 148, a 170, and then this 144 in the third leg. He'd get it to 3-1, but big break for Bunting. The Dutchman missed multiple darts at double for a 4-1 lead, and the bullet would take it in the madhouse, escaping the session, only trailing 3-2. That was a momentum changer, because the bird was the word in the second session. Big scoring, big finishing, as evidenced by this from at live darts first tweeting ton out as bunting produced a timely 121 checkout and then tweeting hold after an 81 checkout for an 11 darter and daylight bunting winning four on the spin for six four at the interval but this was a topsy-turvy tie noppy fought back a third dart double eight good for a break to get it back on serve and how about this look you think he wants it then he'd hold with a clutch 68 checkout the bullet sitting on 24 pressure darts here and he gave it some 15th leg all square at seven look at that score line noppert with back-to-back -back 180s no nine darter today but he did take out 44 on tops bunting sitting on double four he had a max that leg as well frustration on his face he was playing well but too many missed darts at double cost him 17th leg now perfect headgear for another noppered 180 relentless had five maximums and six legs and he did the job advancing to the semis with a well-played 10-7 victory i love these shots total respect between the two it was exciting i'm so happy with this result he said my doubles could be better but i did good things things at good moments. He sure did. Held his nerve as we check out the stats. Bunting higher on the average. Both had six 180s and both were just 29% on the outer ring. Quick update for you on the PDC women's qualifier from at Tom Sports Journal. Lisa Ashton and Maria O'Brien will contest the final. Good luck to both of them. We'll have a winner for you soon. Gary Anderson getting some love on his way to the stage where he'd greet Johnny Clayton with a handshake dynamite darts from the welshman right out of the gate a 141 checkout to break throw the finger point to say that's how you do it ando would respond with the next two though then lining up this 140 checkout he was good on the treble 20s but just missed the double 10 and clayton pounced double six for 2-2. Two, two. Fifth leg now. How good is this? Missed the 140, but nailed the 130 as Paul Hanks made the game-winning call. He retrieved his darts calm and cool. 3-2 at the commercials. The Flying Scotsman averaging a whopping 119. He kept the pressure on two. Double top here for 5-3. The Ferret missing more doubles. He'd take his chance here, though, breaking straight back for 5-4, but that double five was his last highlight. Why? Because Ando would get the 180 signs out in the 10th leg after this beauty on a pinhead, that maximum, and then he'd check out the 87 and two darts for an 11 dart gem. He goes boom at the commercials, 6-4 Anderson, still averaging 114. This was the backbreaker though, 12th leg, Clayton sitting on double six, and the Flying 
young Scotsman came up absolutely clutch on this double 15. A massive 150 checkout, another break of throw, and he knew that was it. So did the ferret as he grimaces, convincing the word in this one. 10 for your final, Anderson wrapping it up with five on the spin. My checkouts, he said, that's what came good. It was all right, adding... I'm nearing retirement. The pressure's off. How's this for a birthday present for Steve Lennon? The spotlight, a walk-on in front of 5,000 plus, and all of them singing happy birthday? Oh yeah, the icing on the cake, a darting date with this guy, the world number one. Here we go, tweeted the Irish Darts fan. Taking the stage now is Steve Lennon for his first major quarterfinal where he takes on the one and only Michael Van Gerwen. Best of luck, Steve. Lennon would hold here for 1-1 as he plucks the dart out, but from there, the green machine revved it up. Double 16 here for the 132 checkout. Now, that's how he got the 32. How did he get the 100? Two bullseyes, baby. A showpiece shot, and he knew it. Happy birthday, Steve, he says. All Lennon could do was scratch his head in bewilderment at the commercial break. 4-1 MVG, the Dutchman averaging 110. The Irishman is a fighter, though, won the next two with darts like these, but he would squander four darts to level the match, and you can see the frustration. Chance wasted, and he can't believe it. Mighty Mike would take that leg and the next for 6-3. It took him 10 legs, but Van Gerwen finally hit his first maximum. The 180 signs out in force. He was in full control, 7-3 at the second interval. Nothing changed from there as MVG ran the table. Handshakes for the birthday boy and then cheers to everyone in the hall and cheers to that semi-final clash tonight with Gary Anderson. Not really happy because I know I can play better, MVG said. Too many bad scores, especially with Gary coming up. I could do better. Still not bad, though, as we look at the numbers. 101 average, two maximums, and that gem of a 132 checkout. Quickly now, in the women's qualifier, Lisa Ashton is going to the Alley Pally. She beat Maria O'Brien 6-3. She didn't get to play the Grand Slam, but she will get to play the Worlds. Big congrats to her. Again, Lisa Ashton going to the Alley Pally. We thank at Darts Web 1 for that. There you have it. The semifinals are set at the Players' Championship. It'll be the 2Ds, Daryl and Danny first, and then the one everyone wants to see, MVG Ando. And then there were four today on High Roller Radio.